So, it's been four months since I did a Happy Meal unwrapping. Uh, I'm only filming this for December's unboxings and all that other stuff. But yes, um, this is actually, this is, oh, let me rephrase that. This is actually Marvel Studios, The Marvels, which recently just released in theaters like 11 days ago, which I heard the movie was pretty bad. But, uh, I just like collecting the Happy Meal toys, because the movie, I mm, wasn't really interested in it, except for the toys. So, we got toy number three. We did review and unwrapped toy one a few months back, and this is Marvel's Goose. So, let's go ahead, uh, because we already know what he's going to do. So, let's go ahead and get him out of the bag. So, here we go. Alrighty, guys, so let me remove move the camera this way. So, here he is, and if my camera would focus, look at this. Imagine if Garfield was a space cat, if he's from space. So, this is the gimmick. I know, so weird. Um, yes, he has the little base, too, where you connect with all the other ones, also. So, yeah, uh, this little Happy Meal toy is going to get a hundred of a hundred. Hope you guys like, comment, subscribe. So, yep, doing another unboxing for December. Um... Yes, I bought this like four days ago on Amazon. Can't wait to see what it is. So, anyway, let's go ahead and be, get this out of the bag, shall we? Okay, so I got the Suicide Squad on Blu-ray plus DVD plus digital. Um, sadly, the digital code expired about a year ago. So, what's the point of using a digital code? A digital code that you can't even use anymore so yep here's the front the side the back the side again the front um yes um only bought this for like seven dollars and fifty cents well I paid like an extra dollar on this movie so let's go ahead and get it out of the unwrapping so, here we go. Okay, guys. So, here's the DVD and Blu-ray. And, yes, that is the unboxing for the Suicide Squad. And this unboxing and review is going to get 100 out of 100. And, yes, it is raining outside. But, anyway, guys, hope you guys like, comment, subscribe. So, I'm back with another... Happy Meal Toy Review. Not unwrapping, because, uh... I bought this one, too, from the thrift store the other day. Just like the Goose Happy Meal Toy that I unwrapped and reviewed yesterday morning. So, this is Toy for Princess Carol. Um... Yes, it's just, uh, Captain Marvel wearing a dress. But, again... Like I said, I only unboxed the Happy Meal toys. Because I heard, like, pretty bad reviews on the Marvels when it released in theaters two weeks ago. So, yep, uh, here's the stand. Uh, yes, I will show you guys the gimmick, like, right now. So, give me a few minutes. Okay, this is her gimmick. She's like dancing, twirling, twir whatever you call the world word, dancing, twirling, and all of that. And every single time when I look at the dress, it kind of gives me Wonder Woman vibes. 
I don't know. What do you guys think? And this review is going to get a 100 out of a 100. But, um, anyway, guys, hope you guys like, comment, subscribe. And before I end the video, uh, stay tuned for a plush video after this one. And after the plush video, stay tuned for a Burger King toy unwrapping. But, anyway, guys, hope you guys like, comment, subscribe. Hey, guys, I am back for December's unboxing. Now, yes, I know y'all are going to wonder. When will the first December compilation video be out there? I don't know. I haven't decided that yet, but I'll get around to it. But yes, we are unboxing the DC, the McFarland Toys, DC Multiverse, the Suicide Squad, Build-A-Figure, Peacemaker, without the helmet on, or just the name, Unmasked. So, yep, yeah, uh, I think this is a Chase variant. Bought this from Amazon, and it was delivered at my house yesterday because I did not have time to unbox it. So, here's the figure inside. Here's the side. The back. Really nice pic picture of John Cena. And the side again. So, let's go ahead and get this out of the box and see what he looks like without the box. Without in the box. Out of the box, I mean. Got the figure out and the little axe, which I really don't get why he comes with an axe. So, yeah. Um, Wouldn't have been better if he had the little other one, because I know the other one comes with a sword, so yeah. Um, let's go ahead and get the base. Like the little display base and the arms and the card out first. And came along with Shark King Shark's arms. These was painful to get get out of the packaging. So yeah. Now let's see the card and the base to get out of the package. Okay, got the card out. Now, all we need is the base. So, let's go. Okay, guys. So, he comes with one, two, by the way, here's the base. Three, four things, including a little collectible card. Now, here's the figure. Um, Yep, what's really weird about this figurine, he doesn't have the, like, little... Stomach articulation, like the wrestling figures do. Um, but let's go ahead and look at the accessories, then the figure itself. So, here we go. And before we look at the little accessories that Peacemaker comes with, uh, yes, uh, Quan Chi's gameplay trailer for Mortal Kombat 1 shown today, and I did not expect. Peacemaker to be shown at the end of the gameplay trailer. So, here is the accessories, like I said, that Peacemaker comes with. It's the arms for King Shark. Um, they're really hard to move around. Like, no joke. Like, it's really a pain. Like I said, okay... This took me, like, five minutes to get out of the packaging. So, here's the little other arm. Now, let's look at the collectible card here. Let me just zoom in on that. Pretty nice picture of John Cena there. There's the bio. You guys want to re read that. And the base. And the axe, which I don't get why he has a pickaxe. So let's look at the figure itself. Alright guys, so here is Peacemaker unmasked out of the package. And yes, um, you can make him hold the axe too. 
Where she could have come um, with the other weapon. Not the sword. The sword is with him with the helmet on. But yep, uh, it's pretty cool. Um, but uh, I'm not going to take the head off because I don't want to like break it. So here's the head. Um, some people said this was like the worst face scan of John Cena's uh, other figure. I don't know why. There's like literally nothing wrong with it. I don't know if it's because of the hair or whatever. But yeah. Um, anyway, guys, uh, this review is going to get 100 out of 100. But anyway, guys, hope you guys like, comment, subscribe.